the monk is a rare bird you know you're just not looking to recruit warm bodies somebody has to come here and stay for a lifetime here you know a lifetime there's no question you know your only exit is out there in the in, in the cemetery you might come with what you think is faith into the monastery and suddenly realize you have none because you got to negotiate a life where it's every day you got to exercise faith i found that christ is the ground everything else becomes relative a monk is somebody who lives to be near god and they're willing to give up everything for that when you step out in faith you start walking across the water the lord holds you up when i first came here you know just to try the life a little bit i said well I, i like it here but it's a big step i can't say yes and be at peace so i i went in the, the chapel and there's our lady's icon up on the wall what do you think i should do i asked our blessed mother there and immediately a wonderful peace came over me and i just knew i belonged here and i always hung on to that no matter what kind of trial i went through or what kind of darkness i went through i said am i going to believe my broken self or am i going to believe our blessed mother the thing i i think that i found very liberating in a great way was this is god's will for me and this is what i find important in life that this is that the god will for me and uh, taking my my vows was the day of liberation that that settled it the desire for the transcendent is a powerful one in all of us but it's the other piece that makes it difficult because it's the purification and the transformation process that's so difficult this is a life that has high ideals and immerses you in mundane details in a way nothing else does it puts your nose to the grindstone very fast the environment here is so nurturing you know it's very free and open and spacious the schedule it seems constrained this is the paradox of monastic life it seems very limited and circumscribed in many ways but once you internalize that structure it's in fact wide open and you're able to be yourself and express yourself and before you know it you're you're developing sides and possibilities in yourself that you didn't know that you had i mean i i found god in a, such a beautiful way i never thought it would be that great it is wonderful i'm just really happy we support ourselves by the work that we do so trappist monasteries operate bakeries or breweries when the monks started here the, the bread bakery just really took off work is really integral to the trappist vocation it's part of our spirituality it's part of our spiritual practice and it's part of that time to assimilate experiences that one has had you know doing simple repetitive manual tasks gives you that space to absorb your experiences but it's also a way to for us to be together you know there's a lot of activities a lot of time in solitude during the early morning hours and through the course of the day we have a lot of time alone work is one of the times when we're together and interacting with one another so it's community building It's a very humanizing way of life if you call to it because you do have to give up a lot of things but who doesn't This life is over in a flash this is just a very very brief very fleeting and transient experience that we're undergoing 
and it's meant to point to and to lead to uh, a life of everlasting joy gazing on the face of God. You know, this life opens on to the possibility of a bliss that's beyond imagining. You know, a monk is somebody who's had a taste of the reality of God. You've been touched by God and saved by God, and you want to spend your life giving thanks. Thank you.